Where is she? Oh. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended of St. Paul to be honorable above all men and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons present now come to be joined. And if any man can show just cause why they should not be lawfully joined together, let him now speak or forever hold their peace. I require and charge you both, as you will answer to the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any reason why you should not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be you well assured that if any persons are joined together otherwise than God's word doth allow, their marriage is not lawful. I want to read from the book of Corinthians. 13th chapter and 4th verse it says charity suffereth long and is kind charity envieth not charity vaunteth not itself is not puffed up it doth not behave itself unseemly seeketh not her own is not easily provoked thinketh no evil rejoiceth not in iniquity but rejoiceth in truth beareth all things believeth all things hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never fails. Dennis, will you have this woman be thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, Keep her in sickness and in death, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as you both shall live. Mandy, will you have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in holy estate of matrimony? Will thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Keep only unto him, so long as you both shall live. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that right? <laughs> okay, repeat. 
feet after me, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Take the Mandy. Hi, Dennis. Take the Mandy. To be my wedded wife. <laughs> to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance. Mandy, I take thee, Dennis. I take thee, Dennis. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish, to love and, to cherish and, to and to obey till death do us part, according to God's I holy ordinance. Now we can have the ring. Take the ring and get put on her finger. Take your hand and put it on her finger. Okay. <laughs> I heard the knuckle break. <laughs> Let us pray. This is the Lord's Prayer. Let everybody join in with me. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. O oh, eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, and author of everlasting life, send thy blessing upon these, thy servants, this man, this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they, living faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and the covenant between them made this day from these rings, by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel and the state and the law of Idaho, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the <laughs> I present Mr. and Mrs. Cunningham. <laughs> Music. Wait a minute. Hit it. 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 Hit it.